Hi, this is Kathy Gould, and we're going to go over a few common mistakes that we see in novice riders. Um, we all have to start somewhere, so you're going to make these mistakes. And that's okay, because I think as you're going forward, when you get to the point, you can go, oh, dang, I shouldn't be doing that. You're learning something. Um, I'm a pro big proponent of you learn every day, even if you learn what not to do, you still learn that. Uh, one thing you see with a lot of novice riders, number one, a lot of people, especially if they've started riding a little later in life, no one really taught them how to ride a horse. They sit up there and they, are on a horse, but they're not really riding a horse. Um, you need, you see a lot of novice riders be way forward on their horse with no feet hanging on their face. Um, they're balancing right here, and you have to have a pretty good natured horse that's going to let you do that. Chances are someone else gets on that horse and he's probably a little bit what we would call numb in the face because you have created that. Um, so just as a novice rider, if you're just real cognizant of how you're sitting on that horse, where you're sitting on that horse, because on his back is a pretty broad answer, but where you're sitting in relation to what you might be asking him to do, um, you get a lot of novice riders, again, they're just so handsy, everything's on their hands because they really haven't developed that balance. And then that is a hard thing, especially if you started riding later in life. Um, most people, a big novice mistake that we see is they've got their stirrups way too long. They're down here trying to ride. Well, that creates reaching for that stirrup. And as soon as you reach, you're elevating your upper body. And by doing that, now you're top heavy, topsy turvy, whatever you want to call it. And now you're having to hang on their head. So it all kind of just goes it all falls into the same trap. So a lot of people, well, my knees hurt. Well, mine do too. <laughs> I ride a longer stirrup now than I used to, and I ride a shorter stirrup when I'm cutting, but I just adjust my stirrups. But if you'll just take them up a little bit, because if you're doing anything with the horse and you feel yourself having to reach for that stirrup, your stirrups are too long. Um, so if they got, if. The first thing a novice did was notice that if that happens to be their problem and really work on just becoming a better rider, having a better seat. And if you'll think about, if you sometimes will think about it being your seat that you're working on, the rest of it will start falling into place. Um, I started riding before I could walk, but I remember in Pony Club, we were on those lunge horses like this with no stirrups posting doing whatever and it was all i look back on it now and it was all about learning about your balance and your seat and where you are on a horse so that's that's probably the biggest thing but so many novices are just you're too handsy you're in that horse's face all the time um are you having to be because he's wanting to take off because you also have a death grip with your feet uh, there's a there's a big trust factor in this whole horse human dynamics that you got to have it and sometimes it's hard but you just as a novice be real more cognizant of everything that you're doing or not doing. <laughs>